hey you guys welcome back to the channel so we are finally about to get into these debt numbers so let's go ahead and get into it just a little disclaimer church announcements you may hear the kids child they fine and i'm just tired of screaming <laughs> I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old, so they going at it. They going at it. So, just want to let you guys know, you may hear that in the background. And also, too, it is hot here in Texas, and I have my uh, silly fan on. Really, yeah, it's that bad boy on blast, so you may hear that. And I hope those noises don't distract this video. So, if you're new here, my name is Jackie, and I'm budgeting for my family of four. Uh, so basically what we're doing, we are uh, going to go over our debt numbers. We have been on a debt-free journey for a while now. We decided to start over. Um, so we're just going to start new, fresh. We're going to get a number and we're just going to work towards it. So I'm just going to go through our debts uh, and I'm going to list them on how we're going to try to pay them off. Now, I do follow uh, Dave Ramsey baby steps. The first baby step is to save a thousand dollars for an emergency fund but we have elected to save 2500 for an emergency fund so i really do like dave ramsey baby steps it's pretty much self-explanatory and basically i'm just tweaking it to work for my family and i suggest you do the same also so i'm going to write these debts on how we decide to pay them off you may hear a little story time about each debt and we just gonna go from there. All right, so the first debt that we are going to decide to pay off, I'm gonna hope you guys don't mind, is going to be the Jeep. I hope you guys can see that. The balance for the Jeep is $3,998.59. So we are going to try to get this paid off first. The minimum payment is $373.48. All right. A um, little story time on this Jeep. Basically, um, I, I purchased this Jeep because um, I was going to be a first-time mom and I wanted a new, bigger mom car. And if you ask me now, that's straight foolishness. <laughs> the second debt that we're going to try to pay off is going to be Samsung. And we owe $427.19. And the minimum payment on that is. Go ahead and put a little dollar size on these. All right. And that's just my husband's cell phone. He uh, basically wanted to buy his phone from the. From Samsung versus the phone company. Um, and this actually could have been paid off a long time ago, but we elected just to to let it just sit there because for one, it don't have interest at all, and we just noticed that it helps my husband's credit build. But, child, we ain't about that life no more. We're going to pay that bad boy off. All right, so Best Buy is the next debt. All right, and we owe... Six hundred and seventy dollars and eighty-five cents on this debt, and the minimum payment for this is twenty-nine dollars. Now my husband went out and got a Best Buy card because I just kept saying, "Hey, I want a vlogging camera. I want a vlogging camera." Y'all know I do YouTube, and he ended up applying for this card and getting me this camera that I'm filming on now. Thank you, baby, but straight foolishness. <laughs> All right, so the next one is going to be Apple. And we owe $867.34. The minimum payment on this is $76.34. All right, so with this debt, I end up buying a whole new iPad and Apple Pencil. I love Apple products, I really do. And I had an iPad. I was actually okay with my iPad, my old iPad. I really was. Uh, but what happened was, um, 
Ari had dropped it, the screen cracked, I got it fixed, and the person who fixed the screen did a horrible job. And so it was working, I was not having no problems. Mind you, I was working with it. But a couple of months, maybe a year on down the road, cause I'm still using that bad boy, it stopped, it stopped working. Basically, I couldn't write, so. This is my new iPad. So basically, I couldn't write in the middle if I wanted to because this it, it just won't let me do it with the pen because that's where it had it had cracked it. So it was just weird. So I ended up like me and bumped that and got a whole new iPad. Straight foolishness. I should have waited. All right. The next debt that we have is Chase. That's a cr another credit card. The Rapid rewards and we owe nine hundred and two dollars and forty one cents and the minimum payment on that card is forty bucks all right now this card it's a it's a traveling card but I ain't did no traveling child we ain't did no traveling I basically just put a couch on that that's a couch that we bought from best uh from uh not best buy from big lots straight foolishness all right the next one is city this is my husband's credit card and we owe one thousand five hundred and forty four dollars and seventy one cents the minimum payment on that bad boy is thirty five bones now this is just, I can tell you what it is. It's just us spending. We may went out to eat or we may bought something like a big ticket item. We paid it off. Uh, we bought some stuff for the house that we moved in cause we are renting a house. And before you know it, it just got out of hand. Straight foolishness. All right. <laughs> The next credit card is another Chase card. This is a Chase Sapphire card. And we owe $2,466.85. And the minimum payment on that is... It's 70, 60 bucks? Yeah, I think it's 60. Child, I forgot. But yeah. Now this card is just me doing some spending. This is supposed to be my little personal card, but I, I put some stuff on here. A whole lot of stuff, and I don't want to go into it. Just know it's foolishness. <laughs> it's not funny, but it is foolishness. So that's all of the credit card debt. Let's go ahead and get into some student loan debt. All right, we have Aid Advantage. I think that's how they say it. And I we owe five thousand two hundred and seventy dollars and thirty five cents. There is no minimum because it is deferred. All right, this is me when I went back to school the second time. I took out a, a loan. I was trying to get my associates in arts mm -hmm. all right the second one the last student loan is with Naviant and that bad boy is twenty thousand six hundred and ninety seven cents no minimum on that one that is when I went to school the first time to be a dental assistant. Your girl was fresh out of high school, did not have a plan, tried to apply to some universities at the last minute, got denied left and right, didn't have a plan. And so what I did, I went to a technical school, I think that's what they call it, got my dental assistant license, and yeah, a total bus that's a whole nother story but yeah this is our debt so let's add it up all right so three nine nine eight fifty nine 
All right, there are our debt number. Bam. And so, I'm going to write this pretty big so I can see it. <laughs> Where my red, my red pen is. All right. So, our total debt the second time around is $36,745. All right, let's see what the minimums are coming up to. Clear that out. 373, 48, plus 25, plus 29, plus 76, 34, plus 40, plus 35, plus 60. Foolishness. All right, so minimums are coming in at... I wrote that so be it. Six thirty-eight eighty-two. All right, so this is our debt number. So the plan is, of course, attack the Jeep. Attack, attack, attack. Once the Jeep is paid off, we're gonna roll this minimum payment into paying off Samsung. So Samsung will be paid off immediately. Is that how you say the word? <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to roll both of these minimums into Best Buy. We're going to crack at this. So, show you guys my little spreadsheet that I created. Like a little debt snowball that I created. Hopefully you guys can see. But this is uh, our debt plan. I don't know if you can see that. So, the goal is to pay the Jeep off. No, yeah. Pay the Jeep off and Samsung off in September 2022. October, we should be able to pay Best Buy and Apple off. November, we should be able to pay Chase and City off. December, CD and Sapphire. January, Sapphire. February, we should pay the rest of Sapphire and we can start working on our student loans at, in February of 2023. And then March. This is when I need to come in and make another plan to pay off that 20 grand. So that is the plan. This is what we are going to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys can see the numbers. I hope it wasn't too far off, but yeah, this is what we're working with. Um, this time around, we're gonna be more intentional on saving money. Cause to be completely honest with you guys and very transparent, a lot of this debt, credit card debt, is because we didn't we didn't save a lot of money. And when we needed something, when we wanted something, instead of basically going into our sinking funds, because sinking funds are very important, instead of having a sinking fund for an item, then to put the put it on the the credit card it is what it is we have a plan and we're going to start on it look i'm gazelle intense but i'm also being mindful of setting aside money for things that pop up this time around that's what i'm going to do because i was not doing that at first all right you guys i really do appreciate you for clicking on this video i hope this video uh was entertaining i hope it helps somebody and if your numbers looking like mine y'all we can do this uh, all you gotta do is just write them debts down write that balance down the minimum payments have a plan and attack the plan i will say it's focusing on one thing at a time you do see results my family has seen results doing that and so that's that's exactly what we're going to use to pay off this debt all right i will see you guys in my next video and that's going to be working on the jeep you guys have a blessed day bye bye